Hello, my name is Barbara Hutchinson and I'd like to welcome you to this podcast in which I talk with clinician Nick Sisodia. Nick is a partner at the highly successful Central London practice 10 Dental and is a firm believer in the powerful positive impact of digital technology within dentistry. And over the next few minutes, he will give us a brief insight into his digital experiences. Together with technician Steve Campbell, Nick will be presenting the first in the series of Let's Talk Digital events sponsored by Dentsply Serona, in which he will share his views on the progression of dental digitisation in more detail. Welcome, Nick. So glad you could join us. You've been a pioneer in the field of digital dentistry for many years. What did you first see in this technology that made you believe it was the way forward? So I can't really take any credit for this realisation myself. Um, I'm very fortunate that uh, my business partner at Tendental is Martin Wanandea, who's always been far more technologically advanced than I am. And um, he's the one who first wanted to explore digital technology in our practice, you know, across the board um, in every avenue that we possibly could. And he's the one who showed me the possibilities uh, that we might be able to explore with digital technology. Uh, We discussed this and we saw that uh, one visit dentistry might be a way forward for us in our practice at that time, probably in the mid 2000s. And um, we started and embarked on our CEREC journey, which was how we sort of uh, delved into digital dentistry at that time. And I've also, uh, along the way, been very fortunate to work with some amazing technicians, um, uh, Steve Campbell and Ian Baldwin at Nexus, um, Ashley Byrne at Burns Dental and uh, Christo Ivanov at Unica, who have also um, been very uh, encouraging, uh, taught me a lot and helped me advance uh, my techniques and clinical uh, knowledge in digital technology. We all know that digital technology is very versatile and it can now be used within virtually every field of dentistry. How do you use digitization in your practice at 10 Dental? Digital dentistry has impacted pretty much all areas of our practice. Um, Orthodontic department with our specialist orthodontists are using it for planning, for co-diagnosis with the patients, where the patients get really quite involved, uh, sort of pretty much itching to get their fingers and hands on the screen of the uh, scanning computer to play with their own images. Um, They can see more or less immediately uh, some of the changes that are envisaged or proposed by the orthodontist and they can make some changes together so that the patient feels very involved from uh, the outset in that journey. Um, Also record taking for those treatments is pretty much there and then instant so there's no second visit needed and In our restorative department, very similarly, you know, patients can get involved, uh, especially for aesthetic dentistry, the planning and um, sort of design of their smile, as it were, is something that is done jointly with the dentist. Um, And then, of course, from a a delivery of treatment point of view in restorative dentistry, we're using it for taking digital scans or impressions. On the laboratory side, it's pretty much revolutionised how we communicate with our lab technicians. We have a more or less instant real-time Uh, dialogue going on all day on various different platforms whether it be whatsapp or slack or email um, constantly throughout the day and we're able to make changes or discuss things in real time sometimes with a patient being there on the odd occasion if necessary you can actually have a three-way conversation with a patient using skype or zoom Um, so it's really changed the way that we liaise with our labs and um, it, it, it for the better has improved that dialogue and outcomes for patients um, with regards sort of monitoring and ongoing care of patients. We're able to monitor non-carers to substance loss in in a way that we couldn't previously. You know, we were using photographs and stone models, but um, digital technology allows us to assess that a lot better. And certainly for myself and Martin, from an implant planning point of view, the ability to marry up the STL files from the intraoral scanner with face scans or with the DICOM data to plan and then produce guides to deliver implant surgery and the prosthesis has completely changed the way that we work. The digital equipment now available is improving all the time and it's particularly improved over the last three years or so. What are the main improvements you've seen during your use of digital techniques? So the speed of scanning and the accuracy of scanning is just out of the charts um, in a way that it wasn't maybe uh, even a few years ago and that's rapidly changing. Um, The ability now to diagnose caries with digital technology, which was something that was promised many years ago, um, seems to be a reality as well. So that's changed a lot. 
Uh, for me personally, actually on a practical level, day to day, the algorithms that the software now has to eliminate my fingers and soft tissue artifacts um, when I'm scanning has made a, a big difference in a very welcome addition for me because it happens automatically rather than me having to clean up my um, scans. And then, of course, the workflows in terms of marrying up my STLs with DICOM data and other data externally has also uh, become a lot slicker. The technology is advanced in such a way that the user interface is much more user friendly. For someone like me who isn't necessarily a computer geek, I can use them for work, I can use them for other purposes, as we all do today. But it's just a much more user friendly interface, which means that people are more likely to use it, want to use it. So we're agreed that digitisation improves clinical care and the patient's experience. But how have you found its impact on your practice as a business? Um, the impact has been quite profound on our business because it's a technology that really helps you deliver dentistry. But more than that, it really wows for the patients. They get really engaged with the process from day one. Um, we are often scanning on the very first appointment so that patients can see their teeth, their fillings, everything up on screen. They can see the gum recession. So they're engaged from the outset and it's usually something they haven't seen at a previous dental appointment. So it's new to them. Um, we're also able to treat patients that we wouldn't perhaps been able to treat uh, previously. People who gag who avoid dentistry uh, are now treatable in a way that we couldn't treat them before. And that makes a big difference. As a business, the time saving for our clinicians is quite important because our nurses have been trained to scan patients and that frees up the dentist for a lot of time, uh, makes a big difference in terms of chair utilization. Um, the other impacts, you know, which for us being in London, space is at a big premium and the storage of dental records and models uh, it is eliminated. We don't need to keep boxes and boxes of patient records and models any longer. And that makes a big difference to us uh, as a practice being in the middle of London. So there are quite a lot of business advantages. Um, and we certainly find that it's a quicker workflow for us. It's certainly been a very challenging six months or so. Do you believe digital technology can help dentists recover and regain the ground they've lost during the pandemic? I think post lockdown, there seems to be a steady demand for certain kinds of dentistry in terms of uh, orthodontics and cosmetic improvements, certainly in our practice. And the delivery of this kind of dentistry is definitely improved with digital technology. So I think the use of digital scanning, intraoral scanning, is one advantage, um, certainly, and one possible tactic uh, in terms of recovery for practices. So do you think digital dentistry is for everyone, for every practice? Or are there some exceptions? I'm not the most technologically minded person. Um, and if I can do this and use this technology with a bit of guidance and help, then I think that anybody can use, learn to use it and utilize it. And I think the sooner you start, um, the sooner you adopt this technology, the better you will be uh, set for the future. And certainly for younger dentists out there embarking on their careers, this is definitely the way forward. Digital dentistry is here to stay. And anyone who's embarking on their career, midway through their career, certainly needs to start adopting this technology now um, because it's here to stay. Um, it's the way that we're going to be working and we're able to collaborate with colleagues in ways that we poss couldn't possibly even a, a few short years ago. So I think, yes, it's a definite um, permanent area of dentistry. You're kindly taking part in the first Let's Talk Digital event. Do you believe that education and peer-to-peer -peer discussion can provide the inspiration that dental professionals need when embarking on their digital journey? Certainly, yes. I mean, seeing colleagues who are using technology in new and interesting novel ways will always inspire colleagues to explore how they might be able to utilise that technology for their own um, practices, for their patients' benefits. Um, so I, I think absolutely it will. I'll be speaking with Steve Campbell, who is one of our laboratory partners. And if you're embarking on digital dentistry, it really is important that you find a laboratory, a technician who is also engaged in this digital journey with you so that you can evolve and learn together. Because there are certainly some um, steep learning curves involved and um, you wouldn't find anyone better than Steve Campbell to help you on that journey. Thanks for your time today, Nick. And we're all looking forward to hearing more from you at the first Let's Talk Digital event. So, just a reminder, to learn more about how digital technology could transform your practice or laboratory, just tune in to the first webinar on October the 12th at 7pm. 
featuring partner at 10 Dental, Nick Sisodia, and the owner of Nexus Dental Laboratory, Steve Campbell. Look forward to seeing you there.